Yo, what is up guys? Paul James here and in today's video, I'm going to show you the most useful WordPress plugin. So if you've ever used WordPress or you have any sites that run it, go ahead and smash that like button. Also, if you're a new visitor to the channel, welcome aboard. Again, I'm Paul James, what is up? Don't forget to go below this video right now and hit that subscribe button. And after you do that, comment below saying I subscribe and I'll do my best to reply back to you. I love all my brand new YouTube subscribers. I'm just so excited that you're here with me today. So let's not waste any more time. We're gonna hop on the computer. I'm gonna show you these plugins and why you need them. And we're gonna break this all down. Alright guys, so I know this is kind of weird, but we're in a different setting here. As you guys probably already know if you caught my last live stream, I'm actually here in Florida on vacation and I had to shoot this video from a bedroom that's in one of the houses that we're renting. One of the houses, I mean the house that we're renting. Um, we've got the dishwasher running right now and it's super loud. It's not like my dishwasher back at home. It's like ridiculously loud. So I'm here in this bedroom. There's actually like two twin beds. I'm sitting on one of the beds. The laptop is lifted off the pillows, but whatever, you know, no excuses. We got to get this stuff done. So we're knocking out this video today to talk about the WordPress plugin. So I'm just going to kind of break it down and do this little screencast with you right now to show you the plugins that I use, why I use them. And um, you guys should start using them too, because I think they're legit. These are all free plugins. Some of them have like premium uh, options and uh, I don't have any affiliate links or anything like that. So I'm just sharing, you know, what I use and all that good stuff. So. Hope that you like the video. So the first plugin we're going to talk about is called Auto Optimize, which basically stands for like Auto Optimize. Now, let me explain to you why I use this plugin so much and why it's a useful plugin. So what I like to do after I build out sites, especially client sites that are dependent on SEO, one of the factors with search engine optimization ranking is how quickly the page loads. And it's a it's an aspect that a lot of people don't talk about so often. So um, some of these plugins that you're going to see are related to that, and that's actually uh, one thing I really want to point out. So um, Google has this tool called PageSpeed Insights. So if you just go to Google and type in PageSpeed Insights, you can go, you can enter in your website URL here, and you can analyze the speed of the website. And it'll actually tell you different things that you can do to increase the speed of your website. Now, what this plugin actually does, Auto Optimize, is it actually goes in and it actually kind of optimizes the code of your CSS and your JavaScript code that your WordPress theme maybe uses and it helps compress that code down and make your site run faster. So what I recommend that you do to see if this plugin is beneficial for you or not is to run a PageSpeed Insights on your site without the plugin installed. See how it does, write down the score that it gives you and then go into WordPress and install Auto Optimize, set it up and then run it again. Go back to PageSpeed Insights, plug in your address again, run it again and see how it performs after you install the plugin. I think you're gonna be seeing a big difference and I think that this plugin is gonna make a major difference. The other thing I can say is always make sure that everything is up to date. This isn't necessarily a useful plugin because that's what this video is about, about useful plugins. So I know that this isn't really a useful plugin but it's generally a good habit. It's always a good habit. Make sure that all of your plugins, all of your WordPress site, your theme, everything is up to date. They make it really easy under the dashboard. There's this little update thing and see how it says I have three updates to make. That's because I have some themes that are outdated. So I'm going to have to go in there and I'm going to have to update them. So I always go in there periodically and make sure that everything is up to date. All right. The next plugin I'm going to recommend is a security plugin. And I always put this on all of my sites. Usually one of the two, I'm going to give you two options. Option number one, and I've installed them both so that you guys can see both options. Option one is called Loganizer. That's right here on my screen. And then option two is called WordFence Security. Now what these plugins do is, I'm gonna click on WordFence just to show you an example. WordFence is a little bit better. What it actually does is it monitors your entire site. Like it says, there's two updates that are available. Um, it'll tell you any issues. You can scan your whole website and see kind of like the different issues that are going on security wise. And it just keeps your site safe from hackers. And you know, WordPress, because you use WordPress, there's lots of footprints because there's different developers that come in and make different plugins and different themes. And they use different code libraries. And if there's one little loophole inside of one of those code libraries, uh, it can put your entire site at risk. And what happens is, is once developers are made aware of this, a lot of times they update those. 
And if you don't install the update, well, now hackers could have this information. And a lot of times what hackers do is they'll actually post the loopholes that they find in a hacker forum. And then all of the hackers, you know, however many are in there, will go and they'll target all of the sites that installed this plugin with this loophole. So unless you update that, you're putting yourself at risk. So WordFence actually helps out with that by detecting this stuff early and warning you. It'll send you email warnings and stuff like that so you can get it taken care of. Now, the other thing that I really like about WordFence is the login security. What it does is it'll, it will notify you every time an admin login is made first off. So if someone ever logs in um, and does an admin login, it's going to notify you, you know, before that happens so that, well, not before that happens, but when it happens so that you can take corrective ac action and change your password or whatever it is that you need to do. The other thing is, is that if someone logs in two to three times, you can basically set how many times and gets their password wrong, you can actually add them to a block list automatically so that they're not keep trying to uh, brute force you basically. So if they keep getting the password wrong, WordFence will just block the IP address and you'll be done with them. You don't have to worry about them anymore. So that one and Loginizer basically do the same thing when it comes to the logins part of things, but WordFence does a lot more with everything else. So I'd recommend probably just going with WordFence, but I wanted to give you the option of Loginizer as well. Okay, the next plugin is called W3 Total Cache. Now caching is basically something that's going to improve the load speed. Again, this goes back to our page speed insights and a lot of the plugins that I'm recommending today have to do with that. They have to do with this page speed because it's such an important role, not only on search engine optimization, but on user experience. So what caching does is it basically saves in memory on the person's browser uh, the images and stuff so that every time they visit your website it doesn't have to completely reload. It kind of saves whatever stays the same so that it doesn't have to keep reloading it over and over again. So I recommend W3 Total Cache for that. Okay, next one again which relates to the page speed is called WP Smush. That's S-M-U-S-H. Now what this does is on your media, it'll actually put a little spot where you can smush the image as you're uploading it, or you can set it to smush all images. What that means is basically compress the file so that it's not such a big file because big images take a long time to load. You can see here the original image size was 142 kilobytes and it basically compressed it down to eight kilobytes, which is a huge savings. That's gonna save tons of load time. So again, this is something I recommend that you check your page speed before you actually load this plugin on and then write it down and then go and load the plugin on and then smush the images and then run the page speed again and you'll see a dramatic difference. A really, really cool plugin. Okay guys, and the last one I'm gonna recommend is called Yoast SEO or the other option is called All-in-One SEO Pack. You can use either of the two. I've been using Yoast mostly right now. Um, and what this does is this allows you to do search engine optimization on page. So you see this little snippet preview here? This is what the page looks like inside of Google. And obviously this isn't very helpful. It says headquarters, get in touch, name, email, address. And why it's showing that stuff by default is because that's the content on my contact page or my client's contact page, I should say because we have a CAPTCHA in there that says well, five plus four, they have to type that in in order to get through the contact form. Well, that's fine for the, you know, the page content, but we don't really want this on the actual Google search engine. So you can come here and you can type in what you want your SEO title to be. So I recommend putting your keyword and location in here. And then I also recommend that you do the same thing with your meta description. Type in something that's going to get people to come in. You could say something like, we offer free estimates for, we can put our city and a keyword. And then we can put something like call us today with our phone number. And now instead of people seeing that random stuff in the Google search engine when they're searching for us, they're gonna see a nice call to action along with our city and keyword optimized right within the metadata. So again, guys, these are some plugins I really recommend. I hope that you enjoy this video. I know it's a little bit different, but a lot of people were requesting something like this. So uh, these are the useful WordPress plugins that I try to use on all of my sites. If you uh, like this video and you're excited to try some of these plugins out, go ahead and smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. We do stuff like this all the time around here. Um, I appreciate you guys. We'll see you next time. I'm Paul James. Peace out.